about the wasteland corridor. In these episodes, we'll be making progress with respect to value added tax and withholding tax. Just a little recap. In the previous episodes, we talked about value added tax and withholding tax. And we started with the definition of the two concepts. After that, we talked about the differences between withholding tax and value added tax. And uh, we ended up the previous episode with VAT inclusive and VAT exclusive. If you need to make any reference to the detailed exposition given in that episode, you can go on the channel and uh, check that out. In this episode, we'll be talking about input value added tax and output value added tax. What is input value added tax? Input value added tax is the VAT that is added to the price of the goods that are purchased. And it's important to mention here that it is input value added tax because it is a VAT that is charged on the raw materials or purchases of an input into a particular process that will end up to an output. Look at this example. Dabby's food sold 12 bags of flour to digress only. Cost of the flour is 10,000 naira. The input VAT is 750 naira. The total price is now 10,750 naira. The first thing we need to look at here are the accounting entries. And before we look into the accounting entries, the first thing we take note of here is 10,000 naira is the contract sum. And the input VAT is 750 naira. Why the total charged to the base holding is 10,750 naira. Meaning that this 10,750 naira is the contract sum, which is the cost of the flour, plus the VAT, input VAT. Now, how do we treat this? Three accounts will be affected here. The first account that will be affected here is the revenue account. Another kind of account that will be affected here is the VAT account. Why the last account that will be affected here is the receivable account. And the, who is receiving here? The receivable here is that this way. Now that we know that revenue account, VAT account, and receivable account are the three accounts that will be affected. What do we do to revenue account? What do we do to VAT account? What do we do to receivable account? We are going to credit revenue account with 10,000 naira. We will credit VAT account with 750 naira. Note, note that this is the treatment in the book of Dami. And Dami here is the supplier. We now debit receivable with 10,750. Look at this. Just so that we are clear on what the treatment will be in the book of that grace, in the book of that grace holding. In the book of that grace holding, it is purchases. So what do we do? That grace holding has purchased. We have Purchase account. We have VAT account. We also have payable account. Who is our payable? That is it. So what do we do to purchase this? Purchase should be debited with ten thousand. That account will be debited with 750. Excuse me. Why the payable account, which is the sum of the contracts or plus the VAT, will be remitted to that? Recall that in the previous episode, it was mentioned that the supplier is the agent of the government to remit value added tax. 
Why the customer is the agent of the government to recharge and remit the holding tax? In this case, damaged food is the supplier. Hence, damaged food is the one to do what? To remit the value added tax. The accounting entry for this will be further explained in subsequent episodes. But note that here in the West Holding Group, the West Holding has debited bank account, being an increased value. And the total of this gives us. And with this, we have seen we have seen that why damaged food is the supplier that grace is the cost of it. Damaged food remits the value added tax that is paid by the grace holdings. We just completed with input VAT. Now we go to output VAT. When we talk about output VAT, output VAT is the VAT that is tied on sales, unlike input VAT that is tied on purchases. And I want you to note that when we talk about input VAT, purchases, and I said it is tied on the purchases of the inputs that will be used to produce an output. And once the output is ready and it's about to be sold, it is sold. VAT is also charged on such on the sales of such and that is what takes us to what output VAT. After explaining output, I'm going to talk about a comprehensive scenario that has both input and output, and that can help us to substantiate on implication of VAT account. Recall that when we're talking about the differences between value added tax and auto-data, it was mentioned that the nature or the balance of input and output VAT will determine whether value added tax is a liability or an asset. Let me just give a summary of that for a little recap now. I said in the previous episode that when input VAT is more than output VAT, that would mean that VAT is an asset. What does this mean? VAT becomes an asset when input is more than output because the VAT that is charged on the purchases is now more than the VAT that is charged on the sales, meaning that what they have paid as VAT for the input is more than the VAT they collect to remit from of the government from the sales. That will now mean that the government is owing. But in the situation where the VAT they charge, output VAT now, is more than input VAT, that will mean that VAT will be a liability. And that will simply mean that they are the ones owing the government, unlike a situation where VAT, input VAT. So we can now conclude and say that if input VAT is greater than output VAT, it is an asset. But if input VAT is less than As in fact, it is a liability. What does this mean? This simply means that if you be more than half of that, it is an asset. That would mean that government is owing. Government is the one owing the taxpayer. But anytime input that is less than half of that, that would mean that it's a liability. And that means that the taxpayer is the one owing the government. So all assets. The government is the one owing the taxpayer, tax credit is the one owing the taxpayer. But when the output is more than the input, it means that the taxpayer is the one owing the government. This will be explained better when we, in the course of doing the compressive explanation on input and output value. So we said that output value is the value that is charged on the world, on the sales to either customers or corporate bodies. So, what's the account, the account treatment of output bar? The great holdings sold 500 loaves of bread to buy the bread. Cost of bread is 25,000 naira. VAT is 1,875 naira. Total 
this. So we had the Apathic Treatment in the book of the Grace Holdings and in the book of Bambi. Looking at this, we know well that the Grace Holdings is the supplier, while Bambi is the customer. So looking at this, we said that for value added tax, the supplier is the agent of the government to charge value added tax and what and remit to the tax authority. So looking at this in the book of the grace, we have the, we have three kinds of account, just as we did when we we're doing it with that. We have the revenue account because the grace holding is the supplier. That is a grace holding we want for getting the right value. We also have the what? We also have the VAT account. We also have the what? The CD account. Bambi Grace. Being the CA. What is the revenue? Which was so called contract source? 25,000. What do you do? Credit revenue. 25,000. What is the VAT? VAT of 1,875 naira. We credit VAT account with 1,875 naira. Why the scale will be debited with the total sum of the two, which is Accounting entry in the book of Bambi Bread. Bambi purchase, so we have the purchase account. We also have the VAT account. VAT account is one account that is common. And we have the table account. The great holding being the table. So, Bambi purchased 25,000 Naira. Now, note that while this is an output to the grace, it is an input to Bambi. So, Bambi purchased 25,000 Naira. Bambi's that account will be dedicated with sale. Because it is assumed that it is an input VAT to Bambi. Why is an output VAT to the Grace? Why the pay the total payable by Bambi to the Grace is what? To note, just a little bit about what we did here, that why this is an output VAT to Danish food, this is an input VAT to the base holding. So now we go to the comprehensive scenario of what input and output VAT. So I haven't taken time to explain input VAT. And output VAT using different scenarios. We will be concluding this episode with a comprehensive example or scenario now on merging the two concepts. And this will help us to substantiate what I said earlier on the fact that if input VAT is more than output VAT, VAT account will have a debit balance and it will be an asset. And if output VAT is more than input VAT, it will have a credit balance and to be a Straight to this question. On the 1st of January 2021, the Grace Holdings bought bags of flour from Bambi Foods at 10,000 naira, VAT of 750 naira. Our emphasis here will be on the Grace because the Grace is the bone of contention here. The Grace is one by the good news. And recall that I said again that 
A P that is of purchases, as P that is of sales. So, purchases. So, that base bought 12 bags of rice from Bambi Food at 10,000 yards. What do we do? We debit purchase account from the first of January 2021. Debit purchase account with 10,000. And also debit that account with the same. Seven hundred and fifty. Ten thousand plus seven hundred fifty there will give us ten thousand seven fifty, which is the sum total of what that grace is owing Bambi. On the 5th of January 2021, the Grace Holding bought various bread ingredients from Grace Enterprise. The cost of the ingredients is 5,000 naira. The VAT is 375 naira. Again, purchases. So this was bought from Bambi on the 5th of January. This was bought. Five thousand naira. Again, impute that. Five thousand naira. The sum total that is owed to Wasteland Enterprise will be five thousand naira plus three hundred seventy five naira on the fifth. Now on the tenth, the grace sold five hundred loaves of bread to Bambi Foods at twenty-five thousand a part of this. So now this is revenue. So we have. Excuse me. On the tenth. Twenty-five thousand. We call that when it was purchases, which is input VAT, VAT account was debited. Now that it is revenue sales, VAT account will be credited. We now have on the tenth. VAT one thousand. Itself. And you see what account to the bank then. Twenty-six thousand eight seventy five. Now to balance all the accounts, we know that this one. Of this is 1125. Why the total of this is 1875? This already tells us that output VAT is greater than input VAT. And when such happens, we used to say, we say, just as I said before now, that it is a liability. And that will mean that. The, the grace audit is only the tax authority, the difference between 1,875 naira and 1,125 
The difference would be 